Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tutor, and I am Vikas. Today we are going to learn about S3 versioning. So just we will quickly recap what we have studied in the previous lecture. So as you see, we are in the S3 console, and it is the it is having two buckets, one test one two and another one is my test one two three. Also, you have the option to create a bucket and you can see the region where the bucket is created it is in asia pacific and the bu bucket access is actually not public which is by default and you can see the creation date both these buckets are created today itself also if you see the pro uh, the feature here it is global it simply means whenever you create a bucket the bucket name has to be globally unique irrespective you are creating it in a particular region before we move to the console and see some hands-on, I want you to go through some basic concepts of versioning. What exactly is versioning? So for all those people who are into software development, coding, they all know the importance of versioning. They might have used Git, Stash or Bitbucket for uploading codes and they know why it is important. You will be multiple times you will be uploading your code you will be changing your code and you always want to make a track of it okay and sometimes your co-workers are also doing working on the same piece of file same piece of code and you keep on changing it so to maintain the tracking to get an ease of seeing all the versions together versioning is required in s3 also here you can see there are two major uses of versioning First of all, it prevents from accident deletion. Obviously, sometimes you upload a file your, and your file gets deleted by mistake. If versioning is not enabled, your data is lost and boom, all your hard work is now gone. Also, sometimes you have made some changes by mistake or two or three people are working simultaneously on the same piece of code and you upload it on S3 and your your changes were overwritten and you want to roll back to a previous version in that case if versioning is enabled you can always go and check all your previous versions so all the versions of the file are maintained in the same bucket at the same time that's the advantage of having versioning so one thing which is very important is to remember the state of buckets during versioning whenever a bucket is created by default you see it is always in an unversioned state it simply means that versioning is disabled okay you have to go and explicitly enable versioning so when once you create it it's unversioned then you go and enable it it becomes versioned but the catch here is once you enable the versioning it cannot be removed permanently you can only suspend it as per your requirement so three important states three important points your bucket is unversioned that is versioning is disabled by default then you have version enabled that is version and versioning suspended i hope this much of theory is clear to you guys and now we will move on to the hands-on on the AWS console for your convenience I have created two bucket already this bucket my test 1 2 is having the versioning suspended that is by default I have not changed it and for this one I have enabled the versioning so we will be uploading the files and checking how the versioning works here you see it, the versioning is enabled. Once I have enabled the versioning, I can only suspend it. Okay. Let me go and quickly upload a file in an unversioned bucket. I will write a simple text. Hello world. And I will save it. 
on my desktop I will write it as dummy and that's done now I'll quickly upload this file in this bucket okay right now I'm not going into the details of set permission or set properties on all, all these are some advanced features I will just quickly upload this file okay the file is here and once I select this file I will get some overview some details about this file let me just overview see the overview from here so if you see the owner the owner is the person who has uploaded this file this is the canonical user ID which I am having which is given to tutor at test because you can check this in the IAM console when was the file last time modified once it was updated to the bucket there is the information here tagging is given storage class is standard by default whenever you upload a file it goes into standard there are other standard uh, storage classes like uh, Glacier, Infrequent Access or Intelligent Tiering that we are not going into the detail right now because that is beyond the scope and server side encryption is not enabled so it is none here and the file name is dummy and this is the URL for public access or the uh, for the access of the user who is given in the IAM console right now I will open the file and you see hello world it's a simple one right just go back here and see you will not see in the console anything about versioning because the versioning is not being enabled as of now you see it's disabled by default so what happens if I accidentally delete this file let me just select and delete this file boom my data is gone my file is gone so all my hard work is now wasted so to prevent these type of accidental mistakes we are having versioning now I will go into this bucket which is having versioning enabled I will again drag this file here and I will upload it it's quite simple to add files into the bucket and here you can see versioning right right now I'm not showing you this show versioning because I have something for you guys there's a catch in versioning see if I go here I open this file I have hello world cool now suppose I make some changes I say welcome user now I will drag this file oh and upload it here now if you see this file was recently modified okay so if you see the versioning it must be showing all the versions that is two different versions one was the original file I will close this one as of now and the another one was the latest file so if you see you will see that you have two different versions and this is the latest version cool now if I open this file and I go here and I open this it will say hello world and welcome user let me just quickly go back and if you hide this you will see always the latest version of the file now what if I accidentally go and delete this I will have to set the file first I will go here and delete this 
Boom! My file is gone. What should I do now? That's why a few minutes ago I asked you not to show this. Now I'll show you this. Actually, whenever versioning is enabled and you delete a file, it's not actually deleted. The file still remains in the S3 bucket, but for you, it's just not visible. So if I go here and I see my file is there but with a delete marker. So if the file is having a delete marker, it is not visible to you guys. So what if I want to get the, my file with the latest version? I wanted to get it back. What should I do? I will go here and I will delete this delete marker. And if you see, your file is back. Now your data is not gone. Okay, I will open the file and you will see it's the latest. Right? Now, if I want to access this file with a public user address, you will see it doesn't have the access. It says access denied. How to troubleshoot this? Let me go back to the bucket and show you some advanced features. So whenever when we created this bucket, we have been uh, we have not checked the properties. So if you go to the permissions, whenever a bucket is created, the public access is disabled. It's blocked. So whenever you have created a bucket, if you want to give access to the public to access your files, your data, your music or videos, whatever you are uploading, you have to give them this access. Right? So I will remove this thing and I will save. I have to type confirm and done. It's saving. Public access is now there on my bucket. So if I go here, I go here and now I should be able to open let me just close this and open my file oh it still doesn't have the public access isn't it it says access is denied let me just check I go here so if you have given the public access at the bucket level you have to give it public access at the object level. The file here is the object which you have just uploaded. Cool. So I will go here and I will click here. Now it works. The so two things you give the public access at the bucket level and you give the public access at the object level. Though this is not the best way to do, this is not the way we do in the real time projects. You give the signed URLs and CloudFront URLs, you never give public access but just to explore the properties we have set it. Okay, that was all about versioning. If you have any questions, doubts, do comment and please subscribe the channel if you like this lecture. Thank you and happy learning.